hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bree. if you don't know i am coming to y'all with some life updates it's been a minute since i made like a video because i've just been busy the last video i posted was cabria's third birthday because she just had a birthday last week and she turned four so i wanted to get that out before she turned four because my husband was harassing me about posting it <laughs> and he was like oh she gonna turn she gonna turn four before you post a third birthday video so i posted that um so we did have her birthday party this past weekend and i will be uploading that before december so just wait on it but i just wanted to update y'all on life you know so I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram or like I know people in real life already know uh like who knows me in real life but um we are expecting baby number two <laughs> and um so basically I'm gonna just insert clips and stuff because I wanted to do like updates like weekly updates but like when I'm pregnant like last time I was pregnant with Cabria I didn't really have any symptoms like the only symptom I have is like sore boobs and tired like that's it so this time around same thing so I couldn't really do like weekly updates like oh morning sickness or this that the third whatever um so yeah I've been fine I'm really blessed and I've just been tired like that's about it and the only difference between this pregnancy so far and the last one is that I'm working now so i'm more tired when i go on the plane but that's oh and oh my god i'm so much more tired because of that and because i'm running behind cabria so like having a toddler plus being pregnant is not for the week so let me give y'all like a little run back of a timeline kind of so i found out i was pregnant like the first week of september and i was just what made me take the test well we we're planning it so i knew that i would take a test like if i miss my period like one day or something because my period comes like the same day every single month and like the same amount of days so i missed my period for one day and i was like one morning i was like let me go get a test so i got a test and um i came home i took it right away it was like two lines and I was like I knew it I wasn't even like shocked when I took it <laughs> and then I was like I was just like oh okay that's cool that happened fast and so I called one of my best friends and I was like yeah so I called her and I told her I was pregnant she was like what and I was like yeah so I want to surprise Caleb so because I didn't do it last time um, I was like, I want to surprise him for when he comes home from work <laughs> so he can like, you know, be like, oh my God. So I went to Target and I bought, I bought like, what did I, I bought a shirt for Cabrillo to wear and I bought a book and I'll insert the picture here. So when they came home later that night, he read her a bedtime story and basically it's like a big sister book and he was just reading it. He didn't even realize like what he was reading until I like told him so I'll insert that part right now <clears throat> baby is sleepy it's time for bed plant sweet kisses on baby's head have you read this book before no <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna see daddy I'm gonna see daddy happy decadence <laughs> Not happy decadence. <laughs> what? Already? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm hmm. What? You get this to me? You get this to me? Mom, you get this to me. Is there another page? <laughs> there is. 
Guess what? What? Oh, let me read the end. Should I read the end? Yes. Okay. Even when baby gets big like you, a big sister job is never through. The end. Yay! Yeah. Guess what? You're going to be a big sister. Today? In nine months. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Seriously? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Okay. What? Okay. I'll record quick. That was fast. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are okay. you serious? Yes. When did we get back from Louisiana? We did that before Louisiana. We did it, Joe. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. I need the light. It's tickles. What? No. What did this do? That was fast. Oh my god, I had no time. <laughs> You saw that. So I wanted to wait until I went to the doctor because I found out super early. I think I was like four, like three or four weeks pregnant. Like that was crazy. It was super early. So I wanted to wait until I went to the doctor for a confirmation with the ultrasound and all of that. So I waited, I think I waited like a month, like a month, something like that. And then I decided to tell my parents and that was funny. So I'll insert the video here of how I told my parents and my nieces. Now, let's do, let's do one as a sample. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. three. Cheese. Cheese. All right, one more again. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. told my mom and my dad I was like okay so you can't tell anybody because I wanted to wait <laughs> I wanted to wait some more until like you know social media and like other family knew so we waited I think I waited until the beginning of this month so on November 1st I just posted it on social media and I was like oh we're expecting baby number two Cabrilla's gonna be a big sister the post is on my Instagram over here um but yeah so that was it and then uh after that i knew i was going to take my blood work test for the nipt test so i took that and i got it with the gender and if you guys don't know when i was pregnant with cabria it was during covid and we weren't allowed to like see our family have a gender reveal, have a baby shower, but like, it was very weird. Like Caleb wasn't allowed to go to any of my appointments. So like this is, a. Uh, my doctor said yesterday, cause I just saw her yesterday. She was like, oh, you're doing a do over pregnancy because you didn't get to do anything regular. So yeah, this is a do over pregnancy. <laughs> no, no shade to Gabriel, like that's my boo. But yeah, this is a do over pregnancy. So we get to experience everything. So, um fast forward i take my nip test and i do the gender 
within that and then I tell them I don't want to find out the gender I give the envelope to my cousin so she holds the gender and Cabria she turns four on November 14th and she was gonna have a birthday party which was this past weekend so I was like let's just since all of our family and friends were gonna be here let's just do a surprise gender reveal during the party so no one knew except me Caleb and my cousin so during the party she randomly like at some part during the party she just started asking people like what they thought the gender was and everybody was like what what <laughs> and little did they know we were gonna do like reveal what the gender was so i'll insert that video now Hey y'all, so I'm going around catching everybody's gender. I'm the gender keeper and I know what the baby is. Of course, it's a child of God and a healthy baby. So just wait on it. Nice. I'm the dad and I think it's a boy. Hey mom. Hey. You know, Bree. So I think that this baby is a girl because you know the girls we run in our family. But it would be cool if it's a boy. But anyways, I just want it to be a healthy baby. I'm the grandma, and I want a boy. I'm the grandfather. I think it's a girl, but I want a boy. Okay, the baby's grandmother. Yes. I think it's another girl. Seven. Hi, I'm TT, and I think it's a boy. Blue for boy. It's a boy. My name is Omar, and I think it's a boy. Okay, here you go. What's going on, guys? It's Uncle T. My prediction, my mind telling me it's gonna be another girl, but my heart feel like it's gonna be a little boy. Right. I'm TT from another Bernie. Uh huh. And I think. <laughs> she got a and it's a boy. Uh, Uncle Roland, I think it's twins. And probably not twins. It's gonna be a girl. Okay, I'm Kavita and I think that the baby's gonna be a girl. Hi, my name is Tori and I predict, just because I'm a boy now, I predict it's gonna be a boy. Hi, my name is Chris and I think it'll be a baby boy. Four! My name is Jeremiah and I think that the baby's gonna be a boy. Hi, my name is Shamar and I'm Chris' uncle and uh, I think the baby's gonna be a boy. No. My name is Tori and I think it's gonna be a boy. My name is Antoinette and I predict it's going to be a girl. My name is Mark my prediction is a boy. My name is Frank Stevenson. Um, I think it's going to be a boy. So, okay, my prediction is a boy. Hi, this is Auntie Milan and I think you're going to be a girl but I wanted to be a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. Okay. If the heart beats slow, it's a boy. So you guys are gonna watch them open it. Mm-hmm. That song, Little Bit. See Crystal News. What does that one say? Family time is the best time. But turn it around. I was so worth the wait. Aww. The baby boy. <laughs> uh, this is cute. So and then I, you. you know, the furry jacket for. Period. Okay, oh, Mike. Look at Mike. Dang, you starting this off. Mm. That is cute. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. cute. 
Caleb. No problem. Nike body suits. Yeah, Nike. Go on, Caleb. Nike. Caleb, that's what I said. As you can see, we are having a boy, and I am very, very shocked because, like I said in the video, like my parents they have two girls me and my sister and my sister has only girls and it's like we just we just be making all these girls so now we have a boy on the way which we're really excited everybody's excited and now we are just we're just chilling right now like i am i just went to my 15 week appointment yesterday so i'm 15 weeks and we're just threading along <laughs> and pregnancy has been good. I cannot complain. I'm very blessed. I'm happy. Uh, Cabrilla's happy for now. She wanted a little sister, but I think she'll get over it because she just wants she just wants a sibling anyway. Um, yeah, so <sighs> that's the update and Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.